sorry, I didn't tell you what Q uh, and uh, P are. So uh, take for uh, E of X simply to be the product uh, X minus I for all I, now I'm not, this is, uh, we just proved the existence, I didn't tell you how to get them, right? So for all I such that uh, uh, PI is not equal to P of I. So this uh, E of X will be zero precisely for I's where the message got scrambled. So this is what I meant that we will screen out the errors. <coughs> we will cover them up. And <coughs> let Q of X be simply P of X times E of X. Right? So this is exactly of degree M minus 1. This is at most degree E. So we will have enough right values as you will see in a moment. So let P, Q of X be equal to that. Let us prove now. So let's prove that uh, for such uh, E and Q we have uh, a Q of I equals B I times E I. Case one. Uh, B I is not uh, consider an I uh, at which an error occurred, right? Then E of I is equal to zero by design, right? This will be equal to zero because E of X was taken to be precisely polynomial that zeroes out at all values that were transmitted wrongly. Then E of I is equal to zero. Uh, uh, consequently, uh, Q of I, which is equal P of I times E of I, is also zero, thus uh, Q of I is equal to P I E of I because they are both equal to zero. Right? Because Q of I is this product of P of I and E of I. E of I is equal to zero. Oh shit. E of I is equal to zero when there is a mistake. Uh, case two, uh, B of I, uh, consider I such that B of I is equal to P of I. This is when the error didn't happen. But in that case, Q of I is equal P of I times E of I, which is equal to P of I times E of I, because P of I is in fact by assumption equal to uh, P I, because the error didn't happen. So we will finish it next time. For both, uh, for in all cases, this is equal to zero. Uh, sorry, this always holds. So just to tell you now, the idea will be you will write this as linear as uh, a linear combination, you know, in coefficient form with unknown coefficients. And here, this guy EI also with unknown coefficients. But you will have enough linear equations 
to solve for the unknowns here and unknowns here, and then we can uh, then the right polynomial will be simply obtained by dividing this by that, because we will reduce it to a linear equation, linear equations. But this we will uh, finish next time because there are angry people outside waiting, eager to learn. To learn. <laughs>